Two weeks ago, we began sharing the top 10 dumbest reasons to date. And last week, we closed in on the top five. And this week, we'll share the number one dumbest reason to date on Love Ed with Julie and MJ. But before we do, though, we again want to encourage you, if you truly want to date in a healthy way, don't just listen to these dumb reasons and then move on. Seriously look at your dating life, or if you're not dating now, your dating fantasies. And mm -hmm. prayerfully consider what drives you to date or desire to date. Mm -hmm. And if one of or more of these reasons didn't really resonate with you, before you just cast them aside as the delusions of crazy MJ. Not crazy MJ! <laughs> Dig deeper. Mike has gone deeper on his date night advice blog, specifically about the deficiencies of each of these dumb reasons to date. And the destruction wrought from dating with these wrong motives. So please check that out in the link below. And if you like what you heard in this little three-part series, we take this dog and pony show on the road. Except I don't have a dog or a pony and I've always wanted a dog and I've always wanted a pony and that's not true <laughs> but anyways consider having Mike come to your area and share the top 10 dumbest reasons to date you can even have a very specific idea of what that would look like uh, by clicking the link that just appeared before your eyes you can watch me introduce the top 10 dumbest reasons to date in front of a live audience namely the student body at Lipscomb University so are we gonna do the number one what the hey? Let's do it. The number one dumbest reason to date is to find love. Mm. And you might be thinking we've lost our mind. No, that's what happens when most people date. That's they lose right. their mind. Mm -hmm. uh, the weekend says, I can't feel my face when I'm with you. Mm. Yeah, do we really know what that means? Well, <laughs> actually, that. I looked it up on the internet where everything is true, and he actually wrote oh, the song good. for his dental hygienist. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the reality is that most people, it's not that when they're in the presence of their beloved, it's not their face that they can't feel, it's a little higher up, it's their brain. And the greatest truth in the world is this. Is that you are already loved far more than you will be on any date by any guy or girl. In John 15, Jesus says the most amazing thing. He says, as the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Abide in my love. Now just think about that instead of just reading through and moving on. Jesus said, the Father loves me. We know that, right? I mean, this is the Jesus that was so good, he was willing to die for humanity. I think God really is kind of proud of him, I think. <laughs> and Jesus says, with the intensity of the love that the Father has for me, I have that same richness of love for you. Hmm. So abide in it, rest in it, chill out in it. But the question I have to ask you is, do you believe that? Hmm. Well, it's hard to believe that when we don't necessarily feel it. Yeah, but at the same time, as we talked about belonging last week, a lot of times we don't feel things because we don't believe them. It is a walk of faith. Hmm. Very simply put, love isn't something good that you find. It's much more wonderful than that. Love is something good that finds you. Love seeks. So if you have been dating or want to date so you can find the true love of your life, please know and believe that he has already found you. Hmm. And until you can rest and abide in that love, you can never expect to find a re richer or deeper, more faithful love than that. Hmm. Here's the dealio. There's no other guy who has a wife that loves and respects him more than I do. Oh. This is this is as good as it gets. <laughs> right here. And it's not enough for me. Hmm. I, I, I am needy. I am a mess. And I need a God whose love is bigger than her love. Yep. Bigger than her and my mom and dad's love. Bigger. <laughs> yep. 
And she needs that too. She needs a God whose love is bigger than mine. I assure you. (laughs) You need to learn to abide in that love. Mm -hmm. And then date not to find love, but to give that love that you have and to to share it with somebody else who has learned how to abide in the love that Christ has for them. Yeah, that wraps up the top 10 dumbest reasons to date. If you have any questions, again, I encourage you first to go to the written form where you can go more in depth to, to, and to work out your questions. And then if you still got questions, share them in the comment section below. So now that we've spent three weeks talking about dumb reasons to date, you might be curious about what smart dating might look like. We yeah. call it purpose-driven dating. <laughs> and we have a whole Love Ed video series on purpose-driven dating as well. So if you feel a little interested, you might just click the link on the screen and take a gander at it. Whatever a gander It's like a look like with your neck. You like look at it. Look. Anyways, join us next week on Love Ed with Julie and MJ. Love Ed with Julie and MJ.